Be here to climb a rope. All right. I'm going to assume that none of you, that uh, all of you here have no idea how to get, how to get up the rope. Whether you know, you can use your feet a little bit, you can squeeze and pull, or you can climb with just arms. We're going to start from scratch, okay? And we're going to learn how to use our feet and climb the most efficient way. All right. So, um, pull-up strength to climbing a rope. If you can't do a pull-up, a, a strict pull-up, that's okay. You can still climb a rope. All right. You can use your body to get up that rope. All right, we'll use your feet and your legs. Um, we're going to go over two different types of foot clamp. All right, so uh, there, there are two styles. One's faster than another, but we're just going to stick with two today. It's called the J-hook and the wrap. All right. Then we're going to go over some quick tips on how to make that pull as efficient as possible to get up the rope. So, so we'll, we'll go over how to wrap and to where you can actually establish a strong, uh, stable connection to the rope. And then we'll work on how to actually move up it, okay? So once we've narrowed down and, and become confident in actually getting to the rope and, and staying on it and using our legs, establishing a strong wrap, uh, then we'll work on getting up the rope. All right, so we've got two stations here, and I'm going to go over um, each wrap first, and then we'll take turns going to each rope and just basically practicing that wrap. All right, so let's go ahead and walk over here. All right, so the idea of getting up the rope, you want to do it as efficient as possible. So our legs are stronger than our arms, right? So we want to use more legs, okay? So we start with setting up what I call a wrap or a hook, however you want to name it, right? We'll just say wrap for today, that's our word, okay? So if we can figure out a way to get this rope to stick to our body, we can use our legs to stand our body up the rope and then our arms just kind of hold us in place and help reset, okay? So our legs want to do the work and our arms just kind of hold us in place and help reset. All right, so just to give you an idea of what we're looking for, this is called a, a wrap. I notice the rope comes down the center of my body, around the outside of my leg. This is probably one of the most efficient techniques you'll find. All right, so my knees come up and I just clamp and now everything's solid and I can hang out here all day long. All right, my arms are just kind of chilling, just holding me in place, all right? The idea from there is as I clamp, I'm going to use my legs to stand my body up, right, and I'll pull my arms to my body, and then I'll reset, and I'll do it all over again. And then you'll just continually climb up the rope, all right? So, once again, what you're looking for is a strong clamp where you're comfortable and stable, and then from there you just kind of stand your body up, all right, reset, and then I'm going to do it again, all right? So from here, I would bring my legs back up and use them to help push me back higher up the rope. Cool? Any questions so far? Okay, Shep, come on over here. I'm gonna show you how to set up the wrap, okay? The rope is gonna come down the center of his body, okay? So, if you wanna uh, think of a, a quick, you know, a, a cue to help you remember where the rope's supposed to go because some people jump up to the rope and their legs are hanging and they just forget which way to swing their legs. Think about the rope starting in the center of your body and then your dominant leg is going to wrap around the front of it, okay? So just, just don't even jump up yet, just, yeah, arms up. Yep, his dominant, left, his dominant leg is his left leg, all right? So the rope came in the center and he came around the rope, all right? And now he curls it around and the rope is on the top of his foot with his toe up, all right? His next step is going to be to take that leg and step on it, all right? He's comfortable right now. He's got a strong clamp. All right, now go up. Stand up, now come back down. All right, back up, back down. See, see he's not really pulling with his arms at all. He's standing with his legs. Does that make sense? All right. Try again now, jump up. A little bit faster. Yep. So, rope down the center of his body. He just took that leg and wrapped it around, okay? Very good. Any questions so far on that? Anybody want to come up and give it a shot? <laughs> yep, hands up, Ty. And now, so remember the rope's coming down the center of your body. Okay. Which, which leg? Yeah, that's right. So you're coming around the front. Yep. No, no, don't pull your arms yet. Okay. You don't pull your arms at all. Okay, so come back down and just relax. What I want you to do is just work on getting that clamp. So, here? Yep, wrap around. Yeah. Bring that knee up. Remember that leg high. Good. Now from there, you want the rope as, as, as little slack as possible. Yep. Now step on top of that rope. Okay. All right. Come back down. 
So you're 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 go ahead and you're picking up with your arms. That's fine. Your arms are just kind of locking you in place. I want you to work on. You can just stand here and just get this leg up. Okay. And your next step is to step on top of that. Top of Clamp that, that down. Place. Yep. So let's okay. try that again. So bring that knee up. Good. So you'll you'll have a strong clamp though if you bring your knees higher. Okay. okay. So try again and bring your knee up. Once you get that down, you start bringing. Bring it up high, 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 high. Nope. Stay back down. I'll make it. Yep. Bring my knee up. Yeah. So keep your arms straight and just stand on one foot. Yep. Good. Bring that leg high. Can you hang out there for a second? Yeah. All right. Squeeze. Keep your arms straight. Hold on to that. If you can support your weight, pick that leg up and step on top of your foot. Good. Oh, I, I feel, feel it now. Yeah, you feel strong, right? Feel, that's, yeah. that's solid. So from there, yeah. so, see, so, so see where you're at right now. Your legs are kind of straight. You don't really have much to pull. If the higher you bring your legs up, legs if your legs were here and you stood, yeah. you would go, you know, a foot higher. Totally feel, cool. Yeah. All right. I think I am. Try it one more time. Okay. You got it pretty close. Remember that leg high. Good. Toe up. And step on that foot. There you go. Good. Who's next? <laughs> so just like I was telling them, arms up tall. All right, strong grip. Now just bring your dominant leg up. Yep. Bring it up higher. So you want to shake that slack out. Shake it with your leg. There you go. Get it loose. Now you're going to support the weight with your hands and bring this leg up and step on top of that rope. Step on it. There you go. How's that feel? Look at it. There it is. Ta -da. There's your clamp. You got this. Shake it loose. That's the scary part. <laughs> How easy does that feel? Feels easy, doesn't it? You're not using your arms at all. You just, you're really just holding yourself there, right? You could do it with open hands. You're just kind of holding yourself upright, or even lean back. You know, it just depends on the style. Give it a shot. Yeah.